To open the Fact Mapper, click on this icon. Before you start, if you wish, you can alter the colors used in your Fact Mapper by selecting a different theme here. To add a fact, click on this icon. You can simply type in here what you want to call the fact. To add further facts, repeat these steps. If you have an existing fact selected, when you add another fact, a link will be created automatically. If you wish to create a link, select one of the facts, then click on this icon. Followed by the other fact you want to link to. You can add notes to a fact by clicking in the Notes section. Type in the note and then click here. This little icon will indicate when a fact has notes. To delete any fact from your Fact Mapper, click on the Delete button. If you want to use images for your facts, open the Image Library. Enter what you want to search for. and then click here. To use one, drag and drop it onto your map. Brainstorming. To start a brainstorming session, click here. Give your first fact a title. Press return on your keyboard. Put in the other facts you brainstorm. When you have finished, click here to turn off the brainstorming. You can add further facts and links if you wish. Viewing, saving, and exporting the Fact Mapper. This is the Fact Map view. You can also have a Document Outline view by selecting it under this drop down. Alternatively, you can use the Tree view. You can change how your facts are arranged. With your key facts selected, Click on this icon. Choose which arrangement you want to use, and then OK. To save your map, click on File. Then click on the Save icon. Choose Save. Select where you want to save the map, give it a name, and then click Save. Once it is saved, click on Close. If you wish, you can export the document view to Microsoft Word. This is particularly useful if you have used the Fact Mapper to set out points you want to include in an essay. To export to Word, click on this icon.
The facts are now displayed in Microsoft Word. You can now add further text and edit as required. Alternatively, you can export your map to a web page so you can easily share it with others.